Uh, as, I, as David said, my name is Neil Morgan. I work in Sainsbury's IT division. Um, and I'd like to thank Computer Aid for inviting me here tonight. Um, uh, I was asked, as, um, as David said earlier, Sainsbury's are Computer Aid's largest PC donor to date. Um, I've actually got an update on the figures that David gave earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, currently, we've donated 5,435 PCs or laptops and 6,072 monitors. So that's a, a grand total of just over 11,500 pieces of kit. So, uh, and, we're, and, we're, and, we're, <laughs> and we're more than happy to do that. And, yeah, it's, it's great to see the difference that they're, they're making. So um, um, what I'd, I'd like to do first is um, give you a bit of information about Sainsbury's and our 20 to, by 20 sustainability plan um, and, then, and then I'll explain a little bit about why we decided to actually donate our PCs to uh, Computer Aid. Okay, so um, Sainsbury's at the glance. Um, so, yes, you can see. A £21 billion pound business with a new, unique history over 143 years. Um, in fact, Sainsbury's actually started literally just around the corner in Drury Lane um, in 1869. Um, and we were selling fresh, affordable food to the urban poor of London. Um, and the slogan then was, quality perfect, prices lower. Um, now, you know, quite a lot's changed in, in 143 years, but those core values still hold true in our business. And uh, our 150,000 colleagues exemplify this by trying to make our customers' lives easier every day. Um, yeah, we, we're proud of our heritage, uh, as you can see in the process of field to fork here. Um, our business touches millions of people's lives on a daily basis right around the world. Um, but as we all know, we can't rest on our laurels. Um, it's a tough world out there. Um, and in such a competitive environment, everyone needs to be keep innovating and um, be distinctive. Um, so, moving on from there. Um, so a, a great example of this is how we are trying to do this through our Sainsbury's 20 by 20 sustainability plan. So um, now the, the ethos behind this, it's, it's, it's not new to Sainsbury's and we've already found leadership in, in this area, whether it be through fair trade, um, British sourcing, uh, freedom foods or wooden eggs. But to be truly differentiated and lead the sector, we needed to stretch ourselves. So, so, so that's why we came up with the, the 20 by 20 sustainability plan. Um, it was launched in October of last year, um, and we've laid out 20 stretching targets that we plan to achieve by the year 2020. Lots of 20s in this, as you can, you can hear. Um, and it encompasses all aspects of sourcing, um, the environment, and being the best for food and health. So. Um, it's something that really matters to our customers, um, and that's why we're trying to lead the way on this. So uh, the targets, they fall under five different value headings, um, and our five values provide the framework for how we do business at Sainsbury's, and they guide us through everything we do, right from key business decisions to day-to-day -day activities. So uh, moving on. So for the first value, our value is best for food and health, um, and that's, uh, it's been part of our long heritage providing great food at fair prices and as part of that we aim to, to be the best for food and health um, and as you can see there's, there, those are a couple of the targets that we're, that we're aiming towards you know, continue to reduce salt, fat and sugar in our own brand products um, double sales of lighter alcoholic wine um, so um, those are some of the things that we're working towards on best for food and health um, our second value is sourcing with integrity um, and basically by sourcing with integrity we aim to provide our customers with, with quality products at fair price in a way that's better for the animals and the farmers and the growers and the workers that are actually involved in the process um, and, that, and also to minimise our impact on the environment um, and you can see there some of the, some of the things we're working towards. You know, making sure our own brand products don't contribute to global deforestation. Sales of fairly traded products, all we're talking about fair trade, that will hit, hoping to hit one billion on that. Moving on to respect for the environment. Um, 
I mean, that, that Sainsbury's respecting the environment is about doing the right thing, as far as we're concerned. Um, so we, we aim to be the UK's greenest grocer, um, which is great for our business, but even better for the environment. So, um, yeah, some of the things we're, lo we're looking at there, put all waste to positive use. That's, that's quite appropriate one there, I think, in this case. Um, yeah, reducing operational carbon emissions, um, robust water stewardship, that fits in a bit with what Tom was saying there. Um, so, um, obviously these, these are things we're not going to do overnight, but we're aiming to do over the next few years. Um, making a positive, positive difference to the community. Um, for us, you know, retailing is about more than quality products and great service. It's also about supporting and, and helping the communities where we, where we work uh, and being a good neighbour. Um, so we aim for our stores to be at the heart of the communities that they serve. Um, so e each of our stores has a, a local charity that they support. And, uh, and at the office, our head office where I work at Holborn, just down the road, each division we have a local charity that we support. Um, and obviously, also we try and support further afield as well. And this is obviously an example of that. So, uh, you know, a couple of the targets there. Um, encourage over 20 million children to enjoy physical activity in the UK. So obviously we've, we've been doing that through the Active Kids. Um, and also, donating over 400 million to charitable causes uh, in 10 years. Um, and then finally, the, the final value that we're, uh, we're working towards is uh, making Sainsbury's a great place to work. Um, as I said, we've got 150,000 colleagues working in our stores, offices and depots. Um, and they're, they're the face of Sainsbury's and crucial to our business goals. So being a great place to work is, is really important for us and for those people. And we want them to you know, go to work with a smile on their face and enjoy what they're doing. And hopefully our customers would appreciate that. Um, and that, you know, here's some of the things we're looking at doing on that. So um, you know, 30,000 people from disadvantaged groups actually work with us currently. Um, so that's a, that's a little bit about Sainsbury's um, background. So why did we choose to actually donate computers to computer aid. Um, in 2010, um, we had a program to replace all the PCs in all our stores, which was, we were talking about 700 stores at that time. Um, and it was, it was my job actually to make sure that we got all the new PCs out to the stores. Uh, but then it was also my job to say, well, hang on, what are we going to do with all the, the old ones that, that we get back? Um, so, you know, it, we had a problem there which we had to deal with. Um, you know, and, and being a responsible retailer, um, that's core cool to what we do. So it was an automatic decision for us to investigate how we could prolong the life of those computers rather than, you know, bin them, essentially. We said, well, can these be used elsewhere? Um, so at, at that point in time, we, we previously donated um, a small amount of computers to age concern in the, in the London area. Um, but following a, a conversation I had with, um, with Anya French from Computer Aid um, earlier on in that year, and hearing about all the, the amazing projects that Computer Aid were doing, um, I realised that you know, by donating these computers to Computer Aid, we could, we could help sort of disadvantaged communities in some of the world's poorest environments and areas um, and you know, actually make a difference further afield um, you know, because it's, it's great to help people in our local communities but you know, we thought at that point let's try and help other people more disadvantaged people further afield so um, um, obviously I've talked about Sainsbury's values so we looked at that and you know and actually donating our used computers to computer aid fits in perfectly with at least a couple of those you know, obviously, making a positive difference to our community, you know, the community doesn't have to be the local community just around the corner. It can be the, the world community. So you know, that's one of the things that we looked at. So yeah, we, I think we can make a real difference with these. Um, and also respect for our environment. Um, you know, it tied in really well with that. And we were saying, yeah, let's look at reusing these rather than ditching them and scrapping them. Um, 
so that they can actually carry on being used. Um, the, other, the other big tie-in, obviously, was um, as I said, as, as we're, we're actually the, the UK's leading retailer of fair trade products, um, we thought it would be great to actually donate some of this equipment to fair trade producers, um, and some of those particularly in South America. Um, I think that, and with some in Africa as well. Um, And then also we've got the, the issue of the sort of the, the, the green agenda here because it, it, it enables us to sort of divert the valuable resource from, from landfill but also comply with EU and government directives on waste. So I, I, I think David, you mentioned about the, the WE directive. Um, obviously, we, you know, Sainsbury's has to comply with the WE directive and other, other directives. Um, this was a way of actually complying um, whilst actually doing some good at the same time. Um, I mean, and Computer Aid made donating these computers really easy. Um, they carried out the data wiping for us. Um, so I know obviously that, that's also another area where we wanted to make sure that you know, all these were data wiped so there was no sensitive data getting out there. Um, and they also enable us to re reduce, reduce our logistics costs and the impact on the environment by um, enabling us to sort of deliver in bulk to them and be quite flexible around that so that we could actually then, you know, we weren't sending <coughs> lines backwards and forwards with small amounts here, there and everywhere. Um, um, and as I say, that, this actually helped us reduce our costs. So it wasn't, you know, it wasn't just about, you know, we, what we could do for computer aid, it, it, this did help us as well. Um, so when we actually look at all these factors put together, um, we decided that yes, it would be a great idea to donate the computer to Creature Aid. It was, a, it was a win for us, the Sainsbury's, and it was also hopefully a win for Computer Aid. Um, and, yeah, and, and at that point we were talking about, I say, 700 stores, over 5,000 PCs at that point in time, over a six month period, um, which we were able to hopefully put to a good use um, whilst also reducing our own costs. So that's why we chose computer aid. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it's really important to hear from that side as well as all the other fantastic stories we've heard of what's happening in developing countries. So any questions on that topic? Neil, it was um, really refreshing to hear that Sainsbury's is making this contribution. What I'd like to understand is that quite often within the retail consortiums, when it comes to doing um, community service, this is what you're doing, many of your competitors also work with you on these activities. Are you sharing that last slide with your colleagues in Tesco's and Waitrose, with Virgin. No, I'm not joking because I, 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 I work for British Airways and we, we donated when we did our Y2K refresh over five and a half thousand PCs to different organisations. Not talk too much about it. Actually, that's why I was quite pleased to be invited along tonight and actually talk about it um, because it's I think it's Sainsbury's way on the whole, on the whole generally is to do this stuff and just get on with it and do it um, and we don't tend to shout about it too much um, but what you're saying is I think it would be good to do that to actually then spread the word and, and, and so promote this amongst other retailers and, and yeah I think I think that's a great idea um, and I certainly wouldn't have a problem doing that sharing this with you know, the meter. And I don't, I, don't think, I don't think it would be an issue because it's not, it's not something that would, um, you know, our, our managers would see, directors would see as a problem in terms of you know, being a, a competitive point. It's, it's, it's about what good we can do out of, it's the, the end of the process. And, and quite often this is why a lot of people don't, are not interested in this because it is, Okay, they're interested in, oh great, 
new kit out there for our stores, what can you do for them? They don't see the other end of the process. Um, and you know, what, what we do at the other end. Um, um, but no, I think it's a great, great point. And, and can I borrow your presentation? <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah. Yep, that's yeah. also good, I think, to yeah. interchange like that. Um, do we have another question at the, the back, I think? Thank you. Hi, Neil. Um, can you tell me if you face any challenges when moving from age concerns to computer age? Um, no, not really, no, actually. It was, I think, the, in fact, we've Initially, we, we donated computers to Age Concern, so locally in, in London, that was when Ken Livingston was mayor, because um, he, he was heading up a, um, a sort of a process of doing that, and we got involved with that. Um, and that was when it was a, it was probably a smaller amount of computers, um, and it, it, it fitted that process, um, because it was a smaller amount. When, when we came to this project, we were talking because um, that, that, was, that was computers from our offices, it was a smaller number, uh, and they were, it was within the London area, so the London office, it was e easy to distribute those to age concern within London, um, so it wasn't a problem. When we came to looking at the, all the stores across the country, massive amount of PCs, um, we were looking at, okay, what would be the best use for that large amount of PC? And uh, when I, I had the conversation with Age Concern, it wasn't a problem because well, I, I said, look, we're not saying we're not going to come back and donate to you. This is a one-off piece of work here. And in fact, we've done, we have been back and donated to Age UK as they are now. Um, not Age Concern, but Age Concern and help the Age to join to form Age UK now. Um, so, we have more recently donated PCs to Age UK, um, but we've also donated some other PCs to Computer Aid as well. So we we sort of we we quite we mix the two without it being a problem at all. Actually, I think I think it's a case of you know it's, um, explaining to people that you know there's not there's there's lots of good causes out there. There's lots of people that, that need this this equipment. So um, you know it's. Yeah, I think I think people realise that you know, it's, um, you know we we do what we can, um, and it's not it's not a case of okay we're not going to do anything more for you we'll come back to you. So, no, it's okay.